All right, guys, welcome to the uh, podcast. So I'm going to uh, do a little readings for y'all. So just uh, chill out for a minute. Just zone out with the music. This is MF Doom and Shot Day. All right. This is a little mix that they got on YouTube. So enjoy the music and we're going to get started in a minute. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so welcome, welcome to the uh, podcast. All right, so I'm going to do an impromptu oracles uh, slash DL uh, type shit right now. Um, today is 7-7 seven, seven slash 23, so that's the 7-7 seven, seven today. All right, 7-7 seven, seven and 5, that's great. We love the number 7, okay? We in the 7 year. We love it, we love it, we love it, okay? All right, so what I noticed about this reading... It's a lot of uh, fire, element of fire. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into it, and I'm going to do the uh, Astro Oracle card. All right. So the first card that we have here is the Nagame card. All right. This is the Nagame card. Hold on. Let me um, take this other Bluetooth speaker off. Okay, great. All right. Thank you, guys. So, all right. So the first card we here is the Nagame card. All right, the, the top the number on the top of the card is eight, and then we have desire. Okay, so fire and desire. All right, so I'm getting a lot of passion, a lot of lower chakra type shit, like passion, you know what I mean? Orange, yellow, red type of colors. All right, there's some type of significant uh, significance when it comes to the month of August. We know eight that's August, the month of the year. Okay, um, I'm also getting with the number eight flow state. All right. I just posted up uh, my uh, birthday twin over there, uh, Landrell. He posted a song. I uh, posted a song called "Flow State." So that's continuousness. Okay, eight the flow. All right, and we're talking about eight being a spiritual number, standing for spiritual, uh, like spiritual power. All right, I'm also getting. Um, just giving you guys some downloads. I'm getting continuous flow. Okay, so this desire is like a creative energy that you guys are gonna have, like a burst of creative energy especially in the month of August. Okay. So in, in the month of August, I, I see the divines having being like in a, in a effortless flow state, a continuous flow state. Uh, I feel like your spiritual power will be at its peak. I'm also getting a download of spiritual power, uh, oil by Anna's Rivas. Okay. If you guys are a fan of Anna, Anna's Rivas oils, all right. Spiritual power is one of my favorite oils that I used to get. I haven't used it in a while, but maybe like two years I haven't used it in a while. But a uh, special emphasis on that, Spiritual Power by Anna, Anna Rivas. It's a really, really, like, it's a, it's a, um, kind of like a fruity, uh, well, actually more of like a floral uh, type of scent. Kind of like a, fl- not fruity, but like a floral uh, type of scent. Okay? So any type of uh, oil that says Spiritual Power or something like that. All right? 
Um, what I'm getting mostly from this car today, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm smoking on a vape, sorry. Um, the emphasis on this car here is continuous flow, being in a flow state, coming in August, uh, creativity on high, manifestation level on high, and I'll explain more as we go further into the reading, okay? Spirit is saying to apply fire, your desire, pressure, into the right places, all right? So it's... um. It's clarified by the Mama Lambo self-sabotage card. 24 is the number on the top of the card. And the reason why we say, the reason why Spirit said to apply your fire, your desire, your pressure into the right places is because uh, the, uh, the two and the four, that adds up to six, that adds up to the past life. So you want to apply it to the right places of past life healing. Okay, so big emphasis on the six in this reading. We have six, six, six in this reading, okay? All right, so the Mama Lambo self-sabotage card is telling us not to misuse or misdirect our passion, our fire, our sacred rage, okay? To channel those things in 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 a in a, in maybe a creative projects, maybe an exercise in some type of uh, artistic expression or, or something like take that 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 uh, sacred rage, that 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 emotion, that fire, that passion, that drive that you guys have, and 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 apply it to past life healing, and apply it to also. Um, I also wrote, I'm re, um, looking at my notes. Um, I'm also getting, um, basically it's saying not to misuse or misdirect your passion, your fire, your rage, just put it in the place where it's supposed to, which would be past life healing. Okay. Staying in your North node. Okay. Like addressing South node triggers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. I also got in my download sacral chakra tuna. All right. So this is like lower, um, chakra, uh, tuna basically. So not just your sacral chakra, but also, um, yeah, we could say like the sixth chakra. Yeah, the sixth chakra, because it does add up to six. So past life healing, okay, it's going to be connected somewhere with your sacral chakra, okay? So you might want to do a sacral chakra tune-up, which means pretty much to like to bounce it out to activate it through um sound therapy through color therapy okay i listen to uh sacral chakra binaural beats and then i have like these led lights and shit and i will make all my lights orange you know what i'm saying it's like that kind of thing you know dancing around things like that okay uh writing out your affirmations all that good stuff okay um Emphasis on past life healing. Okay, so healing the sacral chakra, doing a sacral chakra uh, tune up. All right, so that you can direct whatever uh, blockages or that that's in that area to kind of like release that. Okay, so you can release it like I said through uh, sound therapy, through dancing, and yada to the yada. All right. Um, also, what I'm getting from this self sabotage card is uh, not allowing the past to pester you. Okay, not allowing past life stuff to pester you. Okay. Um, be like a detective, you know, find out what's going on in the past life and figure out what's going on there. Heal that. Okay. I feel like this is the lifetime. This is the incarnation where you do that. Okay. Spirit is telling you to take it one day at a time, address every negative thought that you have. Okay. You could have dealt in a recent past of, of sacral chakra attacks. Okay. People attacking the lower chakras, um, uh, mostly the sacral, the root, and as well as the solar. Okay, those are the main ones that people tend to uh, attack, right? Aside, aside from the crown, right? But we're focusing more on, on, on below, okay? The love from below, all right? Um, so it says here to take it one day at a time. These are my notes that I wrote for myself, okay? Um, take it one day at a time, y'all, okay? This healing journey is not a race. It's not... Um, a competition. It's not uh, the Olympics. It's not something that um, it's something that you should take seriously, but don't take it so critically is what I'm trying to say. Right. Take it one day at a time. There'll be some days where you may uh, relapse. There may be some days where you might be sent certain thoughts and things like that. So that's our spirit is saying to address every negative thought. Okay. Every negative thought you want to address the origin of that negative thought. Like, where is it coming from? Is it coming from an external source? Is it coming from me? Where is it coming from? 
Then the second thing you do after addressing its origin, you address the purpose. Okay. And then after that, you release that. You make you uh, you rectify it and you release it, right? You just you talk about where it came from. If it came from you, then you're like, okay, why well, why did I feel this way? And da da da. Okay. Now you release it and then go into positive reinforcement. So release it into positive reinforcements. Whatever that you may be feeling, this inner rage, this uh, sacred rage, this sacred uh, power, uh, these uh, this this pressure that you want to apply. Okay. So what you want to do is um, use positive reinforcements uh, to balance that sacral chakra through music, all right, dancing, drawing, all right, sound therapy. I'm really big on sound therapy and color therapy, okay? Uh, stimulating brain games, okay, categories or, you know, uh, crossword puzzles. There's, there's some things that you could do with your hands and with your mind to keep your hands and your mind um, busy, but kind of like to keep your mind sharp, okay? I'm definitely feeling like you guys want to be more hands-on, especially in the month of August, creating with your hands. So some of y'all could be artists or, or dancing, you know, like making art with your body, okay? Sewing. I remember back in the day, like, um, I remember back in the day sewing, um, I, we used to sew, like, uh, pillowcases and stuff. And it was, the pillowcases already were lined up. It already had the design on there. And it came like with, um, I think it was either from Michaels or Joanne Fabrics, but we used to get those uh, back in the day. And it would be like pillowcases. It would already have like a design on it. And all you have to do is just sew along the lines. You know what I'm saying? And um, it kind of helps to keep your mind um, busy and not focus on anything negative. You want to try to transmute every negative thought, Okay by addressing again, I'm going to say it again, addressing the origin, the purpose, um, and, and then release it. Okay. Using positive uh, reinforcements and kind of just switching up the energy. That's what you want to do with any negative thought. Don't feel bad for feeling it or don't feel bad for receiving it. Even if it's coming from an external force, just say, okay, I know what to do with this thought. I know what to do with this. Okay. All right. Brain games, uh, riddles. Some people like riddles. Some people uh, like crossword puzzles, um, and so any type of like, uh, thing that helped like brain teasers type shit, if that makes sense. Okay. I think there's a TV show called brain teasers or some shit like that. Okay. Now, um, let's get on to the second card here. The second card is Mawalisa cosmic power. The number is two. Every time I, I hear Mawa Lisa, I think about Mona Lisa. I think about you treating yourself like a work of art. Treat yourself like a masterpiece. Okay, this uh, talks about making an altar for yourself. Okay, uh, making an altar for yourself or just being an altar of yourself, being the embodiment of that. You are the altar. This also talks about cosmic partnerships because on the card we have a, a feminine, we have a masculine here. Okay, so this talks about cosmic uh, partnerships. Could be uh, related to the TF journey or soulmate journey. All right, this is talking about desiring a, a balance, okay? Desiring balance between your masculine and your feminine, okay? Um this is talking about doing the inner work for this cosmic uh, partnership. Uh, this is also talking about balancing not only your highs and lows, your your light, your dark, your feminine, you know, just balancing like polarity, right? But also balancing peace and chaos, okay? Regardless of what's around you, what may be thrown your way, then always treat yourself like an altar. You are a moving altar, okay? We have all the elements in the altar, right? Our breath, that's the air. Our, 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 our uh, blood inside of us, that's the liquid. You understand what I'm saying? Our bones, that's earth. You understand what I'm saying? So fire, our passion, our heart, whatever. That type of shit. So we're, we're everything, okay? We're everything all at the same time. Emphasis on six in this reading. Lots of sixes on this reading. Lots of sixes. Lots of uh, things about healing, about wellness, okay? Virgo energy, healing, wellness, and shit like that. So the next card we have is Aizan. That's miracles, the 42 that adds up to the six. All right. Uh, this is just basically saying that you're going through the motions of anybody that's a healer. And what the most important thing for a healer to do is to heal themselves, self healer. All right. And then, like I said, emphasis on past life healing. The next card is uh, Marie Laveau. Good juju. Okay. You guys got good juju. Your manifestation will be at its peak considerably this month and August. Okay. Something significant in August. All right. 
a lot of energy, spiritual power in August. All right. Uh, some of you guys may have a spirit animal of a chicken or a rooster. Okay. I'm also getting healing hands. Some of you guys have very, uh, very like healing hands. So maybe some of you guys may be um, like studying maybe uh, Reiki or wine or being interested in energy healing, like healing with your hands uh, type shit. Just like Marie LeBeau, she was a hairstylist. She was a healer with the hands when her hands, her hand was good for uh, for people's hair. And I feel like some of you guys may be hairstylists. Okay, some of you guys may also be spiritualists and hairstylists. Okay, they're out there definitely. And you guys just you guys have these clients that just love going to you. Like every time they come to you, they come into you with good news. You understand what I'm saying? They come to you with good news. You you heal them. They come to you with their problems. They talk to you as as you're doing their hair. That's what I'm getting here. And after they, after you finish doing the hair, it's like they feel better. They feel healed. So you guys have very, very much healing hands. Okay. I feel like this is something that's generational. Okay. I'm also getting a summer energy. Of course, obviously we're in the summer. So flowy clothes and head wraps. That's what I'm seeing here with this Marie Laveau clothes. Uh, me, uh, Marie Laveau card. All right. Fashion, flowy clothes. Uh, wearing different colors, like bright colors, like orange and red, wearing a lots of white, wearing yellows, because we are getting a lot of a fire element here. So orange clothes, red clothes, yellow clothes. All right, I'm also getting white clothes as well. Uh, I'm, I'm getting um, people wanting to wear like uh, head wraps, things of that nature. I'm also uh, getting knocking dust off books, because I'm getting in this, in, uh, this Marie Lowe, Marie Laveau card that she's reading a book. All right. So this could be like a, a book of shadows, a novel, um, some type of spell book. Maybe you kept like a manifestation journal or a gratitude journal or a journal of all your rituals and things like that. So I'm getting you kind of like revisiting these old uh, recipes, these old rituals, all the things that worked in the past and you're going back and you're perfecting it. So you can have like, for instance, you can have like a book where you recorded all of your, um, all of your rituals, all of your spell work, uh, you know, whatever. And you're going back and you're kind of like remixing them, going back to what works, like going back to the basics here. We have seven on the top of this Marie Laveau car. So obviously we're in a seven year. It's a spiritual, uh, life path number. Okay. I did mention spirit animal is the rooster. So look up the spirit animal for rooster here. I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting, a. uh, Manifestation level is on ten, uh, especially with the uh, with the fire magic here. So candles, okay, candles, burning incense, uh, that type of thing. So healing by the fire, sacred fire. All right. Speaking of sacred fire, we have uh, the segment card is followed after the Marie Laveau card here. So you have good juju, and then we have the wounded healer segment card. Uh, 15, we have Sekhmet standing in the middle of uh, two pillars, okay, the pillars of justice. I'm getting like the equalizer, the regulator, because that was Sekhmet, because you know Sekhmet is a stepper. You know, she's an equalizer. She's a regulator, you know, um, and then she's also a healer, okay? She balances both of her energies, her masculine and her feminine. She's a healer. She's a nurturer, but she's also a regulator, okay? Regulators, mount up, Okay. All right, so 15, that adds up to six. Like I said, the numerology for this uh, reading is a lot of sixes, 6666, okay? All right. Now, um, the last two cards, we have Satira, Brazen, the 17 card. The 17 adds up to eight. We have two eights into this reading. All right, spiritual authority. Uh, this uh, is just pretty much talking about boldness. Obviously, the element would be fire to be brazen, uh, blazing your own path, trailblazer. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, again, um, just being bold, being brazen. Uh, and we also get the eighth. All right. So we're talking about the uh, the continuous flow, being in a flow state. Okay. Not letting anything uh, block your path. Not letting anything dim out your light or, or take out your fire. Okay. Nobody will extinguish your fire, your inner fire here. And then the last card here is the level up card, Queen Ya Asintiwa. That's 39. That's 12. And then that adds up to three. So this talks about leveling up. Okay, in, in terms of the third house of communication, leveling up your communication. So this talks about leveling up your social media. Some of you guys might revamp 
um, your social media, your business sites, websites, um, graphic design, things like that. All right. So you're leveling up when it comes to communication, you're leveling up when it comes to your social circles. Okay. Social circles and social media. All right. So it's just leveling up who the type of energy, the type of people uh, that you want to be around. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of three, three, threes. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of 12, 12s here. Okay. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of sixes, a lot of eights lately, a lot of sevens. Okay. Those are the numerology of the, of the reads right here of the uh, Oracle cards we have here. So those are pretty much all of my notes here. I know I, I'm, I know it probably sounds like very random, but I was just writing, writing, and I couldn't stop writing. So I'm definitely getting like a scripting type of thing. I know I'm not the only one. Like you're just writing things and like a spirit is just telling you what to write. And it's like your mind is moving faster than your pen type shit. Yeah, I see you guys leveling up in all ways. I'm definitely getting emphasis on 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 good things coming in August, like just a strength and power and healing, and just not just not just making sure that you like, um, just making sure that you that you channel that uh, that energy into something that's productive, into something that's creative, into something that's lucrative, into something that is healing. Okay, all right, because believe it or not, you are inspiration for other people. All right known and unknown so you got to keep going all right we're going through the motions as a as a shaman as a healer all right you embracing your path all right let's go ahead and get into the oracles and then i'll be out here all right we're gonna take a little break and uh listen to some music okay music is all a part of another tomorrow, another kind of language, speaking things of nature, naturally, the way it should be. Thank 
Just on a brief intermission, y'all. Enjoy the vibes. This is Moonchild Voyager album. All right? Moonchild Voyager. Let's see what the messages are. I'm just shuffling right now, y'all. So just relax. If you listen to this while you're driving, keep your motherfucking eyes on the road. All right, I got it. I got it, okay? I'll describe everything that's in the cards. <laughs> Y'all know I'm very detailed. Let's go ahead and get into uh, the Oracle, and then we'll be done, okay? All right, about almost 30 minutes in. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, what are the messages you have for the collective, Spirit? What are the messages you have for the collective? All right, we got Mercury. Mercury in a reverse. Messages in a reverse. Mm, let's see what this is about. Clarify that. Somebody avoiding messages. Or is there a delay in messages? All right. Some type of miscommunication. We have Mercury in a reverse. So it's kind of like a retrograde type of thing. Um, clarify uh, Mercury. Mmm. So we have the eighth house mystery card. Mm. All right. So it's talking about spirituality, mystery. Somebody's refusing some type of message or there's some type of delay with the messages. Hmm. There's been like a telepathic communication being blocked. I'm getting here like negative tele uh, telepathic text messages being blocked here. Okay, this could be somebody that you stopped talking to. All right, Mercury, that's Virgo and Gemini uh, energy here. So it's either that you guys are are like I'm getting like somebody like screening, screening like screening calls, but it's like uh it's it's in the brain. I did say at the phone the the uh, your brain is the telephone, right? I've been saying that lately. The telepathy uh, for those that are advanced on the spiritual journey telepathy is just like another telephone and you're avoiding calls all right clarify the uh the eighth house here we got the aries card at i think you guys are too busy um doing your own thing here doing your own thing putting yourself uh first okay I'm, I'm getting you kind of like just avoiding uh, any type of like negative uh, thought forms and emotion forms that are being sent to you, um, uh, hidden on the sly type shit. That's what you guys are dealing with. All right. This is like about the eighth house, like behind the scenes type of energy, what people don't see, what people don't pay attention to. Okay. We got the fourth house. This talks about home. All right. Big on the, uh, is that cancer energy? Obviously, yeah, cancer energy being big at, at, at home. The colors of this card is, is like a, a purple color, purple magenta here. 
All right, we are in the cancer season. Okay, the number on the card is 42. So again, with the six is with the healing. Okay, so healing things um, at home. Okay, making your home a, a sanctuary. I think you guys are too busy doing things around the home is what I'm getting. Or, or like, yeah, you're cleaning house. In uh, figuratively and literally cleaning house. So you're kind of avoiding any type of calls in, in, in a mundane sense. You're avoiding any type of... Uh, telepathic uh, thought, uh, telepathic like negative telepathy or telepathic text messages or uh, you know emotions and thoughts and things like that here. All right. Clarify the fourth house. No motion. We got Mars. Yeah, I feel like uh, you guys are taking it like a. Uh, you guys are kind of a little bit like laid back here, in a way. Like there's there's a Mars for some reason. Okay, so we have 22 here, right? So this is emphasis on like partnership and things like that. All right, so uh, we have Aries. Then we have the Aries card, and then we also have the the Mars card. There's something going on at, at home here. Let's see. Clarify the um, the Mars. We have Mars in a, in a reverse here. It could it could mean that the, that things are kind of like uh, you're working on healing and like kind of like. Um, you're kind of healing and kind of like uh, grounding yourself in a way. Let's see. Clarify with the Mars card. Mm, with the community home. Let's see. No motion. We got Mars. No motion. Clarified by the uh, 11th house, which is number 13 at the top. Okay. So definitely getting like a death energy, a partnership, death to a partnership here get to a partnership within a, a community all right this is the 11th house this talks about exactly community humanitarian it's uranus energy okay it seems like a community is at a standstill okay a community could be any type of community here that's at a standstill death we have death uh could we have the death the karma 49 13 okay there could be some people experiencing uh karma within a within a, a community okay there's no motion in this community no motion no power no drive no smoke no spiritual smoke this could be somebody that you had like a uh that you used to be um they used to have a, like some type of partnership or, or rapport with definitely getting that depth to like a partnership this might be the person that's sending you these types of messages it's like they want you to out okay eighth house the aries card it's like they they want you to come out and play type shit but then you're in that fourth house energy you just uh, focusing on your own shit like your home you know like your when you dream about a house right the house symbolates um symbolizes your uh your mind Right, so you're more focused on your own inner work. You're more focused on your home, taking care of home. I feel like you guys are not giving people no motion. You're not giving any motion to this ex partnership. Okay. All right, let's keep, keep going. Yeah, you're focused on your creative passions. Fifth house. You're focused on your creative passions. Your. Uh, Conception, I'm getting here. Conception, we have seven. Somebody, I pick, I keep picking up on pregnancy energy. Somebody uh, finding out that somebody's pregnant within the month of uh, July. Okay. You guys are more focused on your um your own your own thing. Just pretty much doing your own thing. Um, we have home. We have the fifth house. So we have the fourth house and the fifth house. Yeah. You just focus on your own shit, like your own, your home and everything that's going along with it. Some of you guys may have cancer in the fifth house, cancer in the fourth house. I feel like this, this energy wants you to come out and play, but you're, you're actually just going within you're following your own advice or even that of your hidden enemy's advice. Okay. But I'm getting this person doesn't want any spiritual smoke and you're not giving them 
any any energy or any attention. We have the Aquarius card, collaborate. Yeah, people wanting you to, to come out and play. Yeah, collaborate, okay? They want to collaborate. They want to spar. Or this energy feels like this spar is somewhat like a collaboration because your energy is involved, okay? That's why you got the Aries card. They want you to act. They want you to go in first. They want you to respond to whatever these, uh, these messages and thought forms that they're sending you. It's somebody within your community, okay? Because we got the 11th house card. And then the Uranus energy. And then we have Aquarius here, okay? You could be a very progressive person within your community. You always like bringing in fresh ideas, fresh perspectives. You're into ad uh, adventure. <laughs> I'm getting here. You're into technology, okay? You're also pouring into yourself, pouring into your passions, We got the sixth house, um, sustainability in a reverse, 44 in a reverse. I think I saw this the other day. All right. This is talking about a uh, chakra balance here. Wellness because the sixth house has Virgo energy. So yeah, chakra tune up for show. All right. You'll need to do this chakra tune up. I did address that earlier in the, in the, in the other, um, uh, part of the reading, the first portion of this reading. Okay, so you need to balance out your uh, your chakras, whatever chakras that you feel are being attacked or, or tapped into. All right, that way you can continue to sustain yourself and bulk up your protection. All right, you have an abundance coming soon. We have Jupiter, abundance. All right, number five, change. All right, so we actually have today's date in this reading here, 7-7-5, seven, seven okay, July 7-23. All right, 23 is the number I saw on this card, Jupiter. I'm getting this big-ass turkey, like, just taking up space. I feel like you you guys are going to finally, um, I feel like in the month of August, you guys are going to be, like, literally in abundance, like, just an overflow of, of abundance, an overflow of energy and passion. Good stuff. We got the Cancer card, okay? We got another four here. We got a Cancer card, 444 here. All right, that's cancer, immersing yourself, okay? Getting beautiful teal colors and purple colors from this card. All right, four. So we have the fourth house and we have cancer. Yeah, some of y'all I'm talking to definitely got a, uh, a cancer in the fourth house. I'm also getting a Jupiter. I'm also getting a Sagittarius. You guys could have a, a Sagittarius in the fifth house. You guys could be a life path five, have a prominent Sagittarius in, uh, placements. You could be a life path four and a cancer. Happy cancer season to all of my cancers. All right, so we got that moon energy and then followed by the last card I'm going to drop, which is Saturn. So we have the moon energy and we also have the Saturn energy. Big, big mother, big father type of energy here. Structuring your life. Immersing, going deep within, and then structuring your life one thing at a time. All right. This talks about discipline. This talks about getting getting your shit together. All right. Emphasis on past life healing. We got multiple sixes, multiple fours in this reading here. Multiple sixes, multiple fours, a uh, few eights, a few sevens, uh, multiple twos as well. So a lot of this have to do with you divorcing unhealthy uh, partnerships and going into a partnership with yourself, collaborating with yourself. Okay. Big cancer energy and also Saturn too as well. So mother and father. So this is addressing... Uh, both sides of your lineage, your maternal lineage, your paternal, your mater maternal lineage, your paternal lineage, uh, bounce out your um, your uh, masculine and your uh, feminine. Okay. This also talks about past life uh, healing, cleaning house, rectification. Good shit. This is all good shit. This is this is what you where you need to be. Okay, you got abundance coming, so you're trying to work on the on the internal first. Okay, because you have you have a, a, a Jupiter right here. This is this is good thing when it comes to money change. Okay, five. This is an opportunity to travel as well. Probably traveling to a place uh, with lots of uh, water, like an island type of location. Cancer water. Okay, and of course, Cancer the crab island, and then abundance here. Yeah, definitely seeing some travel here. Some of you guys could be planning trips, obviously. All right. Some of them could be business trips. We got cancer. We got Saturn. So it could be 
business and pleasure trips. You know, killing two with uh, killing two birds one stone type shit. You might be going to like a business trip, like you know what I'm saying. But then you're also like really, you're you're taking advantage of this business trip. You're gonna make it into um, a, a vacation or a vacation. <laughs> yeah. I'm also getting um vacation homes. All right. I did say that was going to be the last card, but I ended up throwing another one anyway. So I got another eight card, 53 opposition confrontation here. Okay. So you're tackling something head on. I'm getting the color of this card is like a red and it shows um, a two uh, deers locking horns here. Uh, clarify the opposition. Why is the opposition here? Okay, there's an opposition with a Pisces. Or there's some type of uh, Pisces that has some type of hidden an animosity, make-believe beef towards you, uh, make-believe spiritual smoke towards you. It could be on social media because this is a Pisces card. All right. Uh, this Pisces card is uh, in a reverse here. So number three, that's social media. So that's within your social media or within your social circle. This uh, Pisces person, this person is in an inverted energy. So they're unevolved uh, Pisces and they got some type of hidden spiritual smoke towards you. All right. Followed by the debilitated card discomfort because you make them feel uncomfortable. Uh, all right. This is uh, the debilitated card is 14, 5. Again, emphasis on five. Y'all could be seeing a lot of five, five, fives, but it's emphasis on telepathy, spiritual philosophy, travel, right? So they, they, they have a, they, this, um, unevolved Pisces has some type of, uh, this Pisces, unevolved Pisces wants to try to confront you. They have a problem with you because of the way how you, uh, the way how you move about things, the way that you talk, the way you move about things, uh, the things that you talk about, the things that you stand for, it makes them feel very uncomfortable. Okay. Debilitated. Okay. Followed by a debilitated card. Okay. So you may, you may, of course, on this journey, you are going to face some type of resistance from people, but this is like a, this is spiritual. This is hidden. We have 53, eight. This is spiritual. This is hidden. Okay. This could be within your social group, social circle. Okay. Well, uh, I did mention business trip. This could be somebody that that's on this business trip or on this vacation with you. Okay. Yeah, all because this person makes makes uh, it, it's like you make this person feel uncomfortable, and then we also have the retrograde card, the review. It's like they don't they're not willing to do the work and look within or anything like that, that type of shit. Yeah, they're not willing to heal anything. We have fifteen. That's the six in the reverse. The fifteen is on top of the uh, retrograde card review. Okay, you're making them. Uh, you're kind of like the way how you're going about things, divine. It's kind of making them take a hard look at themselves when they really don't want to this unevolved Pisces here because the Pisces in, in reverse the retrograde is in reverse so lack of review lack of, of uh, see through they don't have any follow through that's what I'm getting here they don't have any follow through and you make them uncomfortable okay you make them take a hard look at themselves and they don't want, they're not, they're not ready to do that. This person might try to come and confront you um, or whatever off some past shit, but you're not on that. They're in a retrograde energy. you gone direct. All right. You're gone direct. 55. Wow. We got a lot of fives in this reading as well here. All right. A lot of fives and uh, a lot of fives and sixes and eights. Wow. Okay. So we have 55 here. This is the transit car. Again, it's just you just going through the motions. That's what I'm getting here. Y'all just going through the motions here with this transit card. All right. Not feeling the need to try to find out why this person. I mean, you guys already know that you guys are going to face resistance on the path. Like, duh. Okay. All right. Emphasis on, like I said, emphasis on the mind, the mind, uh, the telepathy thing. All right. So. You don't really care to um, investigate. You already kind of know why you're you're getting this resistance. So you know why this person is trying to confront you. Okay. They don't want you to investigate. They don't want to go within. We have the Scorpio investigate card, another number eight. They don't want you to uh, go within um, in, in a way that like, I guess the way how you're doing things, the way how you're doing things is bothering them. It's making them uncomfortable. Okay. And then, and, and then since the Scorpio investigate card is in a reverse, it's like, you're not really, I feel like with your energy divine, I feel like you're not, you're not 
you're at a point where you you don't really care. Like you're not really trying to uh, investigate or trying to examine why and how. Like you already know this already. It's kind of like a rerun type of energy. Like you already know that your energy and what and what you're walking in is is going to make people uncomfortable. It's going to make people not want to confront you know make people that's going to want to confront you. That's you know what I'm saying. Like you know that that's just a part of it. Okay, so we got transits here. So whatever the current transits are, you want might want to look up. Uh, some type of astrological news about transits and see how it's going to affect you. Okay, that's what I'm getting here with this transits card. You might want to look at uh, the current planetary transits right now. All right, and don't read too much into it. Scorpio card in reverse, don't read too much into it. You're just letting things breeze, breeze past you. You're not trying to be too intense with anybody. Like, you're you're just flowing through. Like I said in the, early in the reading, you're in a flow state. You're just flowing through it. You already know, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You Okay, yeah, yeah, you got a problem. She got a problem. Everybody got a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just going through your emotions. Like, you don't really care. You're not going to let anything kill your, kill your vibes type shit, okay? You already know that you rock, you walk into like a moon and Saturn type of energy. Big mother, big father. All right. Cancer, Saturn, Jupiter. All right. So we're going to end the reading here and we're going to play a little bit more music. And that's just going to pretty much uh, take us out. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So y'all going to walk out for some more music uh, from the new child Voyager. All right. All right. Grateful for my collective, grateful for my loved ones. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Thank you.